Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Cancer for the month of February. We are just going to see what comes up. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. This could for be at any time in February. What do we have for Cancer? You know, there's a lack of emotional growth, and I'm sorry to start that out, start reading out like this, but I just saw the Eight of Cups reverse, and then I saw the Three of Cups reverse right off the bat. Both of the meanings, there's a similar meaning in each of those cards, and that's lack of emotional growth. Now, that could be with for somebody that you are with, okay, or somebody that you have your eye on, or within yourself. So, um, there's, there's somebody that is a lack, they're not growing spiritually or they're not spiritual or they're not awakened. So whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, um, there's also could be parting ways. It's like somebody could be parting ways, could be from a friend or somebody that you're dealing with is parting ways with somebody. There is somebody that is parting ways, um, self-sabotage. So, Cancer, I don't know what is going on with you, but there is some sort of self-sabotage here. Um, that's not good. It isn't good. We're going to go ahead and read that card because I'm no expert on how to explain that. Um, it's when you, you sabotage what is going on in your life by your, your own thoughts, your own self-talk. Become conscious of how your inner saboteur functions. You are about to sabotage a big opportunity. So you're about to sabotage a big opportunity. Now is the time to stop procrastinating and cease focusing your energy on why you are unworthy of wonderful, enriching experiences. When you connect to the saboteur archetype, you begin to recognize all the ways you pass up interesting opportunities and relationships which could make you grow, learn, evolve, and become fulfilled. See, it's interesting that I said emotional growth. There's lack of emotional growth because you're resisting it. We change. We change. And you, get, you can't resist change. Anyhow, the saboteur is terrified of change. And I hadn't read that part yet. Interesting. And guards your heart from that which is meaningful to you. With the misguided belief that if you don't try, you can't fail. It forgets that if you don't escape from your comfort zone, you cannot succeed and experience the love and joy which would fulfill you. So, it's like there's something that you need to change that you are resisting. Interesting, huh? That's what's going on here. It's like you're, you have a big opportunity that you are missing. You could be holding on to something that isn't good for you. That's what it is. I know that's what it is. That's why I saw the Eight of Cups reversed. That is pretending to be happy. That's staying put in a situation that isn't healthy. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. You are protected. One more, please, for cancer. You are worthy of the greatest love of all. But you can't... St there's something you need that you are connected to that you won't let go of. So you know what that is. But we have some people that like to live in fantasy land. And you know, they can't step out of fantasy land and back to reality. Oh, we're going to get three. Dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complex complexion or hair. Bird perched. Waiting for news, package, or letter. So you're waiting. You're waiting for news. You're waiting for a letter. Or you're waiting for a package. Probably from a dark haired man. If you are a uh, man watching this. You, you could be dealing with a female. Or your other half. That is dealing with this man. Okay. This is a dark haired man. That is in the picture. Somehow. And say if you were the masculine watching this. You uh, you could be dealing with a feminine who is dealing with this person and they're waiting. They're waiting for this person. They could be, you could be sabotaging yourself with this wrong one, you know, who is really in love with somebody else. Interesting because that's the words that just came out of my mouth. 
Um, interesting. Dealings or with, if you are the feminine watching this, there is a dark man that you will probably, a dark haired man. Dealings or relationship with a man with a dark complexion or hair. So it's dark or dark, dark, okay? Dark hair, dark complexion um, is going to be sending a message. Now this person is going to be sending a message to the person you are with or to you, okay? Um, what do we have for cancer? The hangman, stuck, right? You're stuck. You are stuck. You have been stuck. Right? You've been stuck in a situation. Um, needing to let go. The hangman, you need to struggle through this. You must let it go. You must, you must, you must. You need to look at something from a new perspective. You're punishing yourself. You're, you're holding on to something that is no longer practical in your life. And it's hurting you. You're hurting yourself. This is about growth. So it's a time of growth right now. You need to let go of something. I know that you do. Uh, and that means you're going to have to sever ties and accept the truth. You're, the challenge is accepting. Accepting that you need to cut yourself free from something. That is no joke. You're going to die waiting. You're waiting for something that isn't practical. So it's like you're only hurting yourself. You are definitely hurting yourself. Um, I'll just get the rest of the cards here. Hmm. So Cancer, what do we have for February? In the past, in the past, you were dealing with somebody that felt like a hero, right? This person came to your rescue. This person um, felt like they were so strong. They felt like they um, had everything it takes, right? I think in the past, you, you allowed this person to have complete control over you, and they did have complete control over you. I feel like, and, you, and, and things were things were good. You, you felt comfortable in this person's arms, right? In the past, you, you felt like this was your hero. This was, you know, uh, your savior, right? That, that's why you're having a hard time letting this person go. I think that you guys are, are really um, struggling to accept that uh, it was toxic. You know, you are. It was toxic. It was unhealthy. And I think that, that you know it, but you don't want to accept it. So I feel like you guys are wanting this person to come back and rescue you. You're wanting this person to be like they used to be. You're wanting... Uh, uh, this person to save you again, but that's not going to happen because there's somebody, there's something else here. There is something else. I feel as though this is a month of realization and it's not easy. I see that you are, you, it's probably like the ties have been severed. The ties have been cut. You know, communication has stopped. There's been, uh, uh, a severing of ties. It's like the bond has broken, right? But to you, it hasn't because you can't accept it. So it's like you guys are having a hard time accepting that something is over. And that's what I see. I feel like um, right now, there's, I mean, up here, this is the Knight of Swords reversed above you, okay? Right above you. So that's, that's like reckless behavior that is... Um, ignorant, insincere, dangerous, uh, not using common sense, moving too fast, um, somebody that is clueless, out of control, um, not thinking clearly. So I think in the future, you know, you need to slow down you need to you need to think about what you're holding on to. 
I feel like you are going to become clear of whoever it is that you're dealing with. I think you're dealing with somebody that is abusive, okay? Because that is abusive. The, the Knight of Swords reverse is somebody that is abusive. This is somebody that is dangerous. This is somebody that is insincere. This is somebody that is explosive. Uh, this is somebody that is very negative and uncontrollable. So I think that you are, and maybe you're out of control. There's some sort of individual here that is out of control, whether it's you or somebody else. And it's their thoughts that are out of control. Okay. They don't, they don't think clearly at all, but in the future, there's going to be some clarity. There's a lot of demons here with the four of swords. So there is, it's like, it's like somebody is, is being haunted. They're being haunted by the past and it's like you need to go someplace else. You maybe you need to you need to move. You know, maybe you whatever you gotta do to stop thinking about the past. There's a lot of thinking going on here. There is, and that's where the self sabotage is going. It's like you're thinking too much about what has happened, and, and maybe you need to put your feet on new ground to clear the energy. It's like you're not clearing out what no longer serves you. There's something that needs to be cleared. You got to think about this card about being protected. The universe will protect you for things that are not healthy. And you have death with the devil reverse down here. You were in a unhealthy, toxic situation. You were. That is the devil reverse. That is unhealthy. That is toxic. This is like a bad habit that you need to break. Okay. What's that song? Hard habit to break. Yes, this is what this is. It's a hard habit to break, but you need to break it. You need to break it. You need to realize that this is toxic. It's unhealthy. It's It was based on uh, lust. It was based on ha filling a void. It was base based, it wasn't based on love because if you notice these cards, there's no love in these cards. And it may have felt good because the devil will bring something into your life that feels good, but it's not real, okay? It's it's fantasy. It's It's euphoric. It feels really good, but it's not real. So I think that you guys have been engaged in a situation where somebody came into your life and rescued you from a situation and you felt like this was your savior, right? This person, uh, you know, was very strong. This person was very protective. This person was very uh, manipulative in a way because they probably saw your vulnerability. That's the way I think it is. They, you needed them. I needed you. You know, that song I need now I'm hearing. I needed you. Yes, you needed them. You needed them. And so, you know, they, they came into your life and they rescued you when you needed them the most, but it wasn't ever built on love. I'm sorry, but there's no love in these cards. Okay. So I think that this month, this is realizing, seeing a situation clearly. Okay, so I think in the future you're about to see the truth, which is the sword of truth, that you got to break free from the situation and it's not easy. You got to break the habit of going back and back and back or going with somebody just because you're needy. There's needy energy here. There is definitely needy energy here. And I'm sorry, Cancer. I don't have anything against Cancer, so don't think that I do. I have to tell it the way I see it. I have to. Um, this is dissatisfied. In your environment, okay, this is dissatisfied, this is unhappy, that's not getting what you want. I think that um, whoever you were with, whoever came to your rescue, you know, I feel like this person was greedy, this person was selfish, this person was arrogant. They had everything, you were just another notch. Right now, Right now, you are being called to set boundaries. You need to set boundaries. You need to defend yourself. You need to communicate. You need to speak up. You need to start looking elsewhere. Communicate with other people. I think that you are hoping and waiting. Okay, this is where this is what your hopes and fears are. And then you're waiting for news. You're waiting for something, a package or a letter. You are hoping for somebody to contact you. You're waiting for somebody to come back around that is abusive. Why? Why are you waiting for this abusive individual to come back around? 
This person explodes. This person doesn't care. This person only is very selfish. This person is an energy thief. This person has ulterior motives. This person... Uh, is unhealthy and toxic okay this person is toxic this person broke free from you because they didn't need you anymore they only needed you to fill a void they wanted to feel like the rescuer they wanted that uh to feel like the hero right they wanted that that er, that surge of power where wow you know and you gave them that for a minute So anyway, I feel as though you are hoping for this person to come and communicate with you, right? But the person that you are waiting on doesn't have good intentions. And I think that you got somebody else because this is beginning to see clearly. And this is a new idea, taking a new approach, breaking free. This is freedom, breaking free from an unhealthy situation that is very, very toxic and unhealthy. You have somebody else here. And I think for a lot of you, you've been you've been hoping and waiting. Or it's the person that you're dealing with, okay? Somebody has been hoping and waiting for this dark-haired individual to come and sweep them off their feet. Dark-haired, yeah, it is. It's a dark-haired individual. They've been waiting for this person to come to their rescue. This person came and they went and they're not coming back. You're going to be waiting for a long time. The universe is protecting you from negative forces, okay? Get it? Do you got it? Do you understand? And this could be a woman as well. It really could. You see the ponytail? It definitely could be a woman. The universe is protecting you. Stop waiting for this person to change. Now it's time for you to change. Save yourself. So anyway, Cancer, I think this month you have been sabotaging a new opportunity for love in that, you know, if you are going to begin to realize that, you know, this person isn't going to move forward with you. You know, this is, this is, uh, the Four of Swords is the death of a person or idea. That's, that's the end of it. This is real. You are going, this is Seven of Cups reverse, realizing that this is really over. So I think that you are going to realize this month that something is really over. It's a coming out of fantasy, coming out of illusion, coming out of confusion, seeing clearly that whoever it is that you have been waiting for has been making you sabotage any new beginnings. That's what's happening. So I think this month you are probably going to get curious about something new. Okay, my advice is to start communicating with other people, start looking at other people, start investigating other avenues. That's my advice. Um, you're, you're, you've been, you've been waiting on a dead end and I'm sorry to tell you that. So I feel like this month, um, you are going to start to see something differently because whoever you're waiting for isn't going to communicate they aren't going to move forward and I feel I think they're blocked okay they're 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 blocked or you know this can always go vice versa this is blocking communication and maybe that's what you need to do maybe you need to block communication there's some sort of block communication here whoever whoever is in this scenario there's no um relationship coming out of this it, it's actually a dead end it's the death of a situation it's it's over it's done and this has been haunting you for a long time there's a lot of loneliness here and it's time to come out of that state of loneliness but the only one that can do it is you you can't keep hanging on and that is what you have been doing that hangman first card this is a wake-up call this is so you've been having a hard time breaking free and waking up from this uh, nightmare that you have been in, but you've chosen to stay in this nightmare. So I feel like this month you are going to get some sort of awakening, go through some sort of awakening. You know, you're, you're going to wake up and you're going to see that it, it's time to move on. It's time to break free from this unhealthy, toxic situation, this false bond that had you pulled in with, you know, some feeling of lust that was undeniable. People often uh, confuse lust with love.
So I feel like this month you guys are, you know, going through a period of recuperation. You're probably wanting to sleep a lot because you're releasing these, this situation, right? This is recuperation. It's a timeout. It's take a break. It's heal. It's go within. It's deal with the monsters that are under your bed. Seriously, you got to deal with those babies. You got to get them out of there. You got to drag them out. You got to, you got to get, you got to get up and you got to drag those monsters right out of your house. And if that means getting rid of everything that was that person's or whatever, you got to get rid of it. So I think that you guys have been waiting in vain for something that is not coming back around. And I think that this month, uh, you know, it's realizing that you were protected. So yeah, I think this is a month of recuperation and release. Good luck.